Hey everyone, this is Laura with We Met Wirework and More, and today I'm going to show you how to make these really pretty, super easy wire wrapped pendants. So let's get started. Now I don't consider myself a jewelry maker by any means, um, however this is such an easy project that I think that it is worth sharing with everybody. Now you can use a flat stone of any type. This one is actually a bead in this really great iridescent peacock colors and we've got a tiger's eye and just a couple of other examples. The other materials we're going to use today is a 24 gauge silver wire and then our round nose, barrel nose pliers and then just our snips. Now I've chosen a couple of pieces to work with. This one is a glass bead in the red and then this one is a amethyst chunk. So I've measured off a 14 inch or a 35 centimeter piece of wire and that's our 24 gauge and we're going to just thread that through a bit tight this one there we go to approximately the halfway point and then we are going to burn, bend this side sharply up and then take this upper one it's a little slippery and just give it a little bend what we're doing is we're trying to make a loop now we're not going to make it very large and this is the bale this is where your chain would go through so holding on to that we're just going to take the wire and we are going to just wrap it a couple of times around there and then bringing this wire across the face of the amethyst, we're going to bend the bottom wire up and then we're going to have the two cross, this one this way and then this one we're going to bend the opposite way. And then we're just going to begin to wind. So what we want to do is make this little swirl. So we took that one holding on to what we've already bent. We're going to take the second wire and we're going to have it follow that first wire. So that's given us a great little swirl and we can tighten it up a little bit if we want to. Just taking our pliers and just guiding those wires around. And we have a little bit of slippage here and that's okay because we are going to tighten that up at the end. And now we're going to take our two wires and we are going to flip our piece over and then we are going to bend them across the back like that bringing them forward I think we're going to have this little one because it's so short we're just going to grab it and we're going to give it a little twist here at the bottom, flatten it out a little bit and then we're going to take our second one and we're going to 
wrapped loosely, bringing it back up, cross our stone, and then we are going to continue to wrap it around the bale. Not too many times, three, four times. And then we're going to snip it off. Taking our barrel nose pliers. You know what? I'm going to introduce these flat nose ones. And we're just giving it a giving it a squeeze. You want to make sure that there isn't any any wire sticking up as that will be snagging on skin or fabric. Okay, so then we take our pliers and we just start to play around with these wires, tightening them up a little bit. So this one I'd like scooched back towards the middle a little bit as we started it. And then these ones, I think we're going to just separate them a smidge. Flipping over onto the back, we're going to create a little bit of detail just by twisting our wire just a little bit. And that can be adjusted so that the wires sit where we want them to. I'm going to do the same thing with this one here. And I think with our originating wires as well. And there you go. There's our beautiful little piece of amethyst. pretty. I quite like it. All right, we'll go over that one more time. Taking our silver wire, we are measuring out about 14 inches. We're taking our flat glass bead, popping it on that wire to approximately the halfway point. And then we are bending this bottom wire, and that's just to keep the wire firmly in there. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're just making a loop at the top. that. Holding on to that loop, we're going to wrap this wire around a couple of times. Now we're bending this bottom wire up and then we're going to bring the top wire down parallel to that first wire so they're side by side. And then we are going to bend them in opposite directions. And this can be slippery. Okay, nice and firm. And we're going to take that first wire. And we're going to just give it a little, little curl, a little twist here. And then we're going to take the second wire and do exactly the same thing. Got that. Is that a little twirl or a little curl? We take those two wires and we bring them to the back of our piece, pulling them fairly tight, getting that bent, and then bringing them back around. And because this is so small, you don't really have a whole lot of room 
to do anything particularly fancy. So what we did is we brought them around the back, brought them back around to the front, right, and came across above our original swirl. Now we're at the base of our bale here. Once again, we're going to hold on to that. And we're going to take these two wires and we are going to wrap them around this bale. And I guess we should just do one at a time. Awesome. Taking our snips. I want to cut close to the piece. And then just squeeze that flat. Making sure there's no tails that run in your fingers over it. All right, now we're going to take our little round those pliers and we're just going to give these a little bit of a twist right there turning it over and I think we'll do the same thing in the back here all right so there we have them a couple of really cute little pendants super easy and and really just quite lovely so if you enjoyed this project and you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit that bell so that you get the notifications when we come up with new projects and certainly leave me your comments. I'll also leave the links to my social media in the description below and it'd be really awesome if you check that stuff out as well. In the meantime, have a fantastic day and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.